So Kadarius Tony and Matt Nagy is something that we honestly didn't think would happen. Now, a lot of people are hard on Matt Nagy and doesn't think that he could be a good offensive coordinator, but I do think coaching on the Andy Reid, he could be a great offensive coordinator. And one thing about Matt Nagy, he he's a good like he, he's good when it comes to scheme and the run. So I think he's gonna have some very brilliant plays for Kadarius Tony, even though Andy Reid's gonna be the one play calling most of the time. I could see Matt Nagy having some very brilliant plays for Kadarius Tony. And not only Kadarius Tony, the running backs as well. Eric Pence make the roster. Him, Isaiah Pacheco, Jack McKinnon, CEH. I could see Matt Nagy cooking something up because he's coming from the Chicago Bears. That's that's a very good Russian team. And I don't think he's bad. I honestly don't think he's bad. I think he'll be better as a play caller than he is a head coach. And that's something we just got to see, man. That's something I can't wait to see. And that's something that's going to be fun to see. So, yeah. And I just can't wait to see Kadarius Tony's rushing ability. I want to see that more because we know he's a skilled runner, very polished runner. And I just want to see him get involved overall, you know, like with everything he could do. He could rush, he could catch. Like I've said this in numerous videos that Kadarius Tony is a generational athlete. And he just needs to be healthy. He has to stay healthy. If he could stay healthy, then he'll be good. He'll be very good. I believe in him. I trust in him. I know he's a very great player. And Matt Nagy, I mean, he's not the worst head coach ever. I mean, he's coached for us before. And he was a head coach on the Bears. I don't think he was even that bad. Honestly, the Bears is just a horrible team. You know what I'm saying? But I can see Matt Nagy doing pretty good with us. And I have a lot of faith in him. And I do think that he will thrive with us. And next to Andy Reid, he'll learn a lot of stuff, just like how Eric B. Enemy did. And now we're just going to be talking about Travis Kels with Matt Nagy. Now, Travis Kels is just a different athlete. It's not really much to say about Travis Kels. I think he could help Matt Nagy because he's a very good player. And he's also seen the game for a long time. So he could definitely be giving Matt Nagy some plays. I mean, he even did that with Eric Bieniemy. Kels and Mahomes will sometimes tell them what they want and what they want to see. And the coaches are going to listen because these are the players that's going to go out there and make these plays. But nobody expected this. Like, I know I know when we got Matt Nagy to become the quarterback coach, he did very well with that, coaching Mahomes to his best season. But nobody expected him to become the offensive coordinator. I mean, a lot of people did, but not, like, before that. Like, I feel like I never knew Matt Nagy would become an offensive coordinator or even coach for us again. But he did. If I'm not mistaken, I think he was the offensive coordinator that year. Kareem Hunt went crazy. But I'm just excited to see what he does with the Russian plays. Isaiah Pacheco, Kadarius Tony, and the jet sweeps with John Ross if he makes the roster. I'm excited to see how him and Andy Reid come along to cook that up. Yeah, and I'm just saying, Matt Nagy is a good coach, in my opinion. I think he's a solid offensive coordinator, a solid coach. And... As long as you have Andy Reid, we're going to be good. I mean, Andy Reid, he hires these dudes to train them. That's really what he does. He, that's what he did to Eric B. Enemy. He trained him. And I think he's going to handle the passing plays for the most part, while Matt Nagy handles the rushing plays, which is what they should do. And, I mean, seeing Patrick Mahomes have his best season with Matt Nagy, I, I couldn't see why wouldn't they make him the offensive coordinator. I mean, if Mahomes can have his best season with him as the QB coach, then I'm pretty sure he'll have an, an even better season with him as the defensive coordinator. And Mahomes probably made that call, and you know. But yeah, Travis Kelce is going to be Travis Kelce, so we're not even worried about that. But now let's move on to the next topic involving Matt Nagy and his team. Now, this player that we're going to be touching on now is Isaiah Pacheco. Now, I understand he had a good season even with Eric Bieniemy, but I could see him doing even better now. Because Matt Nagy is used to them nice running backs. Well, Eric and me is too, but like I said, Matt Nagy, he's going to be able to draw up the running plays. And Isaiah Pacheco is a very good running back. Had over, had almost 1,000 yards in his rookie season. He started around week nine. So that's honestly unreal. This guy's very quick. He's strong. He breaks tackles. And I just can't wait to see him put up 1,000 yards with multiple touchdowns next year. And with Jerick McKinnon, he's probably going to have another monstrous season when it comes to catching in the red zone and just catching out the backfield in general. And Daenerys Prince, who I think will at least come in and rush for 400 yards. So the Kansas City Chiefs rushing attack is looking absolutely crazy. 
and our team is just looking different in general and nobody really expected us to really look like this i mean look man Kadarius tony right we need nobody expected us to get Kadarius tony we're about to have a top three offensive line our rushing attack is looking unreal the Chiefs' team this just looks different as a whole right we come from Atari Kill and Kelsey Mahomes. That was really our offense at first. Like that year when we lost to the Bengals, that was our only offense really. So that pass Atari Kill is very predictable. That's why Jesse Bates came and got the pick. Or Vaughn Bell, one of them. So that's not how it is no more. Our offense is not one dimensional. We have multiple threats that could do different things, multiple weapons. We have three good running backs. CEH even can make some plays in the backfield when it comes to catching the ball. So we really have four good running backs. And don't say we're not going to carry four running backs. We did that last year. Isaiah Pacheco, Jack McKinnon, CEH, and Ronald Jones. That's four running backs. And we have a lot of wide receivers that could break out, such as Scott Moore, Tony, Justin Ross, John Ross, if he makes the Ross of MVS. So the team is just loaded with talent everywhere. And you know a team is very talented. Not even a team. Isaiah Pacheco. You know he's very talented when his like his quarterback could go down and he just takes over the game as a running back rushing for an insane amount of yards. We need a dog like that. That's what we needed. Kareem Hunt was good, but I think Isaiah Pacheco's future is very bright. And I think he's going to be better than him. And my prediction is Isaiah Pacheco is going to be a top five, top ten running back in this league. And next season, he's going to have a historic year for him. And he's going to break out. He's going to absolutely break out. And it's just going to be fun to see all these players break out at the same time. Isaiah Pacheco, Kadarius Tony, Scott Moore, they all most likely going to break out at the same time. And I just can't wait to see it. Then Patrick Mahomes, man, he's going to have another 5,000-yard season, probably more than the one last year, probably 5,000, like 400. This dude is unreal. It's like the Chiefs are just lucky to have all of this at once right now. We can't take this for granted as Chiefs fans. I just hope nobody's taking this for granted because this is not normal. Enjoy it while it's still here. Enjoy it while it's still here, man. I have a Hall of Fame tight end with all these weapons. It's everywhere on every position possible, even on defense. Hall of Fame defensive tackle, Hall of Fame tight end, the Hall of Fame quarterback, and potentially three Hall of Fame offensive linemen with Jawan Taylor, who's going to be good. This is looking very scary for the Kansas City Chiefs, man. And I'm just saying, nobody expected this. And I can't wait to see what Matt Nagy does with this offense and how he changes his rushing attack completely. During the season, I want you to come back to a lot of my videos just to see if my takes is right. And I can't wait for the season, man. Our videos is going to be absolutely insane. And I'm going to be dropping content every single day, especially on Sundays. That's going to be the best part. It's been your boy, Chiefs Priority, and I'm out, man. Peace.